For everyone waiting on the raw giveaway, here is the winner right now. Congratulations. Be sure to DM me on my personal Instagram at Noah Pescatelli, and I will be sure to get the rod out to you. Stay tuned for the other giveaway winners because they will be coming soon. Thank you all so much for the support. Yo, what's poppin', folks? Welcome to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to smash the subscribe button. Hit the like button as well. Hit the notification bell. Comment down below some video ideas. We got a dope what fishing up, over here. What up? Crocodile a dub with the hat. I'm digging it, bro. I, I feel like that's your style. It's alligator oh, a dub. Oh, um, what's your name again? Fishing with Norm. <laughs> That's my name. If you want to check out these two boys, which you need to, because you're going to be seeing them a lot in my videos. So. Check out our YouTube channels, not check out like us, like check us out, but like. But you can't check us out because we are good yeah, looking. That is Woo! a good point, but like check out, he meant to say check out the YouTube. I just really need to clarify there because we don't need too many people checking me out. You know what I mean? We're doing a cheap versus expensive chatterbait, which is, I don't even think that's been done before, homie. Oh, Has anyone done that? I don't know. We're actually at Dick's Sporting Goods right now and we're gonna be making a run for this and uh, seeing how it goes. I already have the inexpensive chatterbait, which you guys are gonna see later on in the video, but we're gonna be going into Dick's to find the most expensive chatterbait they absolutely have. What are you doing, dog? Let's just get inside. Are you boys excited for the chatter donk challenge? It's all the way around this way. Huh? Are you excited for the chatter donk challenge? I'm excited because chatter donks catch, catch big fish. So that's why these people are gonna be spoiled, right? Alligator oh. Adam? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm digging the hat, bro. Guys, let me know what you guys think about Adam's hat. We got it at an antique shop because, oh, this boy is dropping a banger. I mean, a banger. Yes, sir. You're welcome, Norm. Thank you. Straight Thanks plug. Hat, Thanks, buddy. Deacon. Straight Thanks plug. You're welcome. <laughs> Some boys made it up in the fishing section. All the amazing fishing tackle around us. So, guys, I want you two boys to help me out with finding the most expensive chatterbait you can possibly find. And I know there's one that's almost like $25, so that's gonna work. The other one, which is the inexpensive one, is $1. You guys don't get to see that yet, though. It's probably the juice. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Adam. Adam. Alligator Adam, what are you doing, man? I'm gonna drop my boat. <laughs> <laughs> Got the horses in the back. <laughs> the last time they were right here, and there's absolutely none of them, so we gotta find them. We have the spinnerbait and chatterbait section. Super small here for some reason. We looked everywhere, and this is all that they have, which doesn't really make too much sense. We're gonna start off with the uh, with the regular chatterbait. So this is like a four dollar chatterbait, and this is uh, normally what I used to throw before. Now there's so many options for chatterbaits, but this used to be like the OG four dollar chatterbait. Super great deal for four dollars. But we're trying to fish with the most expensive chatterbait today. But hold up, do they have the elite? Okay. But for seven dollars, they have the elite chatterbait. So this is just like a upgraded version of the OG chatterbait by Z-Man. This is not the most expensive. This one's only seven dollars. The most expensive, and when I say expensive, it's pretty freaking expensive. Where is it? Oh, right here. The jackhammer. The jackhammer for nineteen ninety nine, twenty dollars. <laughs> and Bass Pro Shops was there a couple days ago. It was twenty seven dollars. Are you serious? For one of these. Yeah, I'm dead serious, dude. Because I was doing a fifty dollar challenge. I was like, I can only buy one of these things if I bought one. But here, it's twenty dollars for just the chat. Keep in mind, you still have to buy trailers, but for just the chatterbait. $20. But apparently for good reason is what I've heard that they make it out of the best stuff possible. Supposedly it's out of tungsten too. Yeah, I, like I could be wrong. I think it has like a tungsten, a, a gamagatsu hook or something like that. I don't even know. I don't know. What do you think about a $20 chatterbait, Adam? Like give give your honest opinion on a paying $20 for a chatterbait. Dude, I'd just go with the $4 chatterbait and uh, I'd catch them. Yeah, no, I break off way too many chatterbaits for it to financially make sense for me to be paying twenty dollars for them. That's because that's my problem. Like day. this thing could but. be the juice dog, but like I break yeah. off a lot, you know what I'm saying? And you're throwing chatterbaits around spots like docks and like wood and all that yeah. stuff where it can easily snap off. So. And around a ten pounder. Ah, what? Gee whiz, man. Oh, they're getting dude, I'm not even kidding. There's a staple in the back and I'm my finger's bleeding now. Norm. Dude, I'm not even kidding. That is one sharp pecker. On the next episode of Nursing with Norm. Yeah. <laughs> we were Dude, I'm bleeding. His broken fingers. I'm bleeding. Don't I'm not push it. You're just going to make more blood come out. Well, yeah, that's the point. When you stab yourself with metal, you're supposed to get all that out. All the nasty stuff out. You get bit by an animal, you're supposed to squeeze it out. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> you're supposed that's to squeeze it, it out. Yeah, all right, all right, right, let's get to the point, boys. Let's get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> so this Chatterbee, guys, there's a little problem with it. This one's green pumpkin. Um, The ones that I ordered that are only $1 are actually black and blue, but that's all they have is the green pumpkin. Wait, dude, what about this one? Is that um, green pumpkin, too? Yeah, they're all green okay. pumpkin, homie. Huh? I mean, that's, that's the only problem. They have literally a total of five. It's not like, oh, oh, they have a white one, but we don't want to put white against 
yeah. black and blue. You know what I mean? That's polar opposites. Yeah. yeah. At least like that's similar. like pretty close. Yeah. But we also need some trailers, so I want you guys to pick that out. Alligator yeah. Adam, I think you're up, dog. I'm tagging you in. I'll put right. you in the game, coach. Do we want to get crawls or do we want to get swim baits? Which one? Um, that's an option, man. I swim baits. Swim baits. Wait. Should we do like the cheapest trailers we can find for the cheap one and the most expensive for this one? So it's like actually the cheapest versus expensive chowder bait. You know what I mean? What a genius. I think that's it, Norm. So we get like the cheapest packet trailers and the most expensive packet trailers. So this thing could end up being like $35 Dude, or something. I'm gonna be honest with you. Did you graduate from like, you know, some top, top notch college or something? Uh, not exactly. Yeah, like Harvard or something. <laughs> I mean, Norm is just a straight I'm just genius. genius. All right guys, so we're going to get these bad boys right here, these D-bombs, super bug color. It's a little bit of a blue, black, and green well, pumpkin mix. It's got hat, so look, half of it's black and blue and half of it's green pumpkin we were talking and since the expensive one's going to be green pumpkin and the cheap one's going to be um black and blue it just makes the most sense man like look see that right there green pumpkin black and blue is that not brilliant dude it is i think we're genius i think that's an even better idea norm mm -mm -mm. all right we're gonna go with these right here these are the shiny nice kitex these are expensive these are 6.99 for some trailers so we've got the cheaper ones right here and we've got the more expensive ones right here see which one all right better. let's get it so boys and girls i'm about to show you guys the cheap chatter baits i ended up buying i went on wish.com i ended up buying some very inexpensive chatter baits just about a dollar i'm gonna push it over to norm and alligator adam and they're gonna talk about them it actually doesn't look too bad how much you say you got these for again a dollar a dollar a piece yeah a dollar a piece Please let them be good. <laughs> That's all I got to say. say. But look at the blades. The blades are a lot smaller. We need to get an up close shot on these. Tiny, dude. This is a micro. And hook, it's uh, weedless. Like it's a. Uh, it has one of those it swing heads. Swinging, swinging hook. What do you think about that? Come on, muscles. Old alligator Adam's supposed to be strong and dandy, ain't he? <laughs> I like the head on it. The head actually looks really good. That that doesn't look bad for a dollar, it does not but the look blade bad. is small, and I'm curious about how that's gonna wobble. And I'm curious about this hook to see if the hook will bend out or not. I mean, it seems like it's all right, but if I get a big one on here, I'm gonna bet that it's gonna straighten out. So. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they're obviously cheap for a reason. It's just we gotta figure out why they're cheap. <laughs> but they, it looks good. But I feel like when we fish with these things, we're gonna figure out why they're only a dollar. Like that's just they're either not gonna work right. The hook's gonna bend out, the skirt's gonna fall off, something's gonna go wrong. So you guys heard their opinions on it. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little curious about it. They're gonna both be throwing the $1 one, which is the cheap one, and I'm gonna be throwing the expensive $20 chatterbait. I told him I had to let him use the $1 ones because that's $20, man. I, I am not trusting old Norm over here with a $20 chatterbait because I already You know. are throwing the most, this makes no sense. Why do you get to throw the expensive one? Because I know it? you're gonna break it off, no, Norm, this is only your, one. This is your idea to fish with cheap chatterbaits. So you're like, here, Norm, throw a cheap one the whole entire day. Oh, dang right. So here's the old expensive one that I'm going to be trying to throw. We're going to rig this up with this old bad boy, put a crawl on the back of it, and then we're going to put them on this rod. So let's go ahead and rig this up, and then we're going to get this challenge started, baby. All right, boys, we're getting it started with the expensive chatter bait. There he is. Jeez. He's trying to jump. I'm just skirting him. Oh, let's go. There we go. Nothing big, but he's a fatty. Not bad. He ate the expensive one. So that's one for the expensive. And it's the first fish today. Oh man. It's actually been a minute guys. We've been fishing. haven't had a bite. And then we hook into that little beautiful guy, little fat one. He ain't big. He felt huge when I jacked him, but he was also across the pond. Let's get him back in the water. Dude, he's stuck in the grass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Maybe not. Did he swim away? What in the heck, bro? What in the heck, bro? That was a big one. I was hopping it. So like I landed over there on the bank and I swore I had one. So I jacked him. And then I was like, wait, what is going on? Like there's nothing here. And all of a sudden, I felt one just yank on me. Oh, I just got thumped on my fall. Oh, oh snap! Oh, he came off. He came, he came off. Dude, that one, dude. that seemed like a big one too. The way your rod bent. That was a good bite, but like the hook didn't penetrate. 
What the heck? I think it's a swinging head, dude. Got him. Giant. Guys, we got a tank on. Get him out of that grass. Oh. Oh, oh. Dude, that's a mule. Oh my dude, gosh. On the chatterbait, dude. You think it's the one that was biting you the I other one? No, that was off. The other ones were on that first tree. This one was on that second tree. Such a strong fish. He about drug me in the water. <laughs> I mean, he, I got him in the grass and I was trying to pull him out and then he pulled me right back. And I mean, he pulled me right to the edge. Oh, so. boys. All I got to say. The cheap chatterbait is beating the expensive one by size. I can tell you that. That's a good fish. Every bit of four right, pounds. Give me some on that one. Yes, sir. The one I lost, it was, it was bigger, a little bigger than that, I'd say. Yeah, but, he was. Man, that's yeah. good. You think it was the one, or you don't know? No, because that first tree I had two bites off of, but this one I threw right where Norm just threw, and he hit it right there. Wow. And I was hitting it on the fall, so I don't know what the deal is with that, but every single fish has hit it on the fall for me, and I've had three bites, so... Good job, dog. That's what happened. Good job, dog. Let's get back in the water. You think I should take a picture with it? Yeah, if you want to. You got your phone? Yeah. Let's just so I can take it with. Oh, no. You got. Oh. He gone. Oh. <gasps> Dude, what the heck? What the heck? Dude, he ate it as I followed me in. Oh, yeah, he's a big one. Oh. Dude, he came out like a freaking lightning bolt and just sucked that thing down. Look at that. Holy cow, that was awesome right there. This is insane. He, I rolled my chatterbait up. I got it right by the bank. Came out of nowhere. <laughs> Munched it. Look at that beautiful bass. Pushing that three number. All right, two to, ooh, ooh, two to one on the chatterbaits. Bacon. Oh my gosh. That's like a five pounder. Okay, maybe not five, but it's a big one. About the same size as that other one. <laughs> that is crazy to me. They're loaded up over here, man. I'm telling you. Well, it's two to two now, man. The cheapest competing up with the, the one dollar ones competing up with the $20 dog. It's keeping up. It started working for me, so. We'll see. We're going to keep throwing it and see what happens. Go ahead, get this one back in. Nice, healthy Florida fish. Biggins, bro. Healthy All biggins. Healthy fish in the chatter baits. There he goes. <laughs> that was sweet. I like turn my head and all I see is this huge one just poop, doop, 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 dumbling in the water. I had another one slap me, bro. Dude, I had one hit me too, but he hit it on the fall again. That one didn't, but the other bite I did. But I went to go set the hook and he wasn't there anymore. Yeah, no, that's exactly how that one did to me. Oh, you did it again. <laughs> no freaking way. He ate it just like the last one. Solid two and a half pounder. Get it by the bank, he just tumbles right over it. Follows it in, boom, donezo. That is crazy. So crazy to me, beautiful fish. I do not mind catching a two pounder like that all day long. See you later, Jimmy. Oh yeah, he's ready. That's a little one. Oh my goodness. Dude, this thing has the worst hookup I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? What the heck? There's one. You got another one. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Check that out. Norm, give me an update, bro. Norm. What? <laughs> give me an update, bro. Nothing's biting. Throwing the chatterbait with a trailer on it. And I've worked it every way. It's just not happening. It's hot out here. I got There he is. Yes. That puts four, I think, for the expensive one. Dinky, man. Dinky. Dinky squinky. He's a he's a thick one, but ah, he's a dinky. And I don't have my trailers. Adam has them, and he's all the way across the pond. That's not the best thing. There he is. 
Oh, that's a good little fish. Bad. He's not as big as those other ones, but he's a solid two, two and a half pounder. Beautiful Florida bass. Now I'm done with all you said, all you wanted was.